can't remember. Yeah, this was when we were in Mississippi. When <laughs> she was little, she used to be very sick at that time. She, she was always sick, always crying. When she was born, she was a few days old and she developed an infection of her umbilical cord. She would have lots of colds and coughs and fever, vomit a lot and have diarrhea. She had thrush in her mouth. When you were little, you don't remember these days, do you, Ashi? <laughs> My parents, they're just very strong people. They're Sri Lankan and they had to deal with a lot coming here. We have no family. I just remember them always saying we were always running back and forth to hospitals because we were all really sick. We had taken Ashi to many doctors. We were getting desperate because Ashi was falling ill very often and in our minds she was getting worse. She had hardly any strength to walk a few feet. One of the doctors, Dr. Sorensen, tested her and found out she had ADA deficiency. He said there was a treatment at the time and it was this injection, PEG ADA, that she had to take weekly. And he would also send her blood to the National Institutes of Health, to this team of doctors that he knew was working on gene therapy for ADA deficiency. I saw this in the newspapers. I cut it out and I'm sure I must have said a prayer or two. My husband said, it won't be in our lifetime, so Wayne, don't build up your hopes. And I told him, well, we'll see, you stick to chemical engineering. 